Hello and welcome back to the Heavenly Toast podcast. Thank you for joining me here. Uh, I wanted to talk today a little bit about the Angelic Warfare Confraternity. So this is an official apostolate of the Dominican Order, and it's uh, something that I joined back in college. And it's something that I've found to be very spiritually fruitful, something that's really helped me quite a bit. Um, and it, I just think that it's a very, um, very cool sort of a thing that not a whole lot of people know about, even people who've been going to church for a very long time. So I want to talk a little bit about that. But before I do, uh, first of all, sorry for being late on my videos and being a little bit behind recently. I recently got engaged, so it's one of my uh, proudest moments and happiest moments, certainly. It's a cause of a great swell of joy in my heart. But it's also, uh, uh, my attentions have been elsewhere recently. Uh, I also wanted to make a point to mention that a prayer request came through on the heavenlytoast.com. So thank you to the viewers who are looking at the blog page itself, and thank you for submitting prayer requests. I appreciate that, and it's really great to be able to pray with you. So uh, this person will remain uh, nameless, and I won't mention any of the circumstances or anything like that. If you submit a prayer request, I'll do the same for you. But I just ask that we uh, raise up this person in prayer, uh, let's call this person ML, that God may bless this person, grant guidance, strength, and wisdom for all of life's challenges, all of the difficulties that this person is facing, and that this person might know that the closeness of God and that this community here is praying for them as well. So we lift this person up and offer them to the Blessed Virgin Mary as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All right. Thank you very much. Now we're going to get into this section on the actual angelic warfare confraternity. Now, what is that? So the story begins actually with Thomas Aquinas. So this is a Dominican apostolate. So it makes sense that it's connected to back to Thomas Aquinas in some way. And the story of St. Thomas Aquinas and why he's an intercessor for us in this particular um, theater is that when he was attempting to become a Dominican, the Dominican, Dominicans were still kind of a ragtag sort of an order. They were very new. They were a mendicant order, so they begged for food and begged for supplies for their day. And they weren't... I don't want to say that they weren't respected, but they were very new and they were very fresh on the scene. And St. Thomas Aquinas's family had very strong connections with a, I believe it was a Benedictine abbey. And it was likely that if Thomas Aquinas were to go into this abbey, he would rise to a very high level of prominence. And it would be, uh, he would be able to rise to a position of power and fame and prestige and that kind of thing. But St. Thomas Aquinas surprised everybody when he said that he wanted to become a Dominican. And the family did not take very kindly to this, actually. And they did all sorts of things to try to dissuade him. Eventually, his family kidnapped him and imprisoned him in their family tower. And seeing that his resolve wasn't going to break, the final thing that they kind of pushed towards him was to um, send in a woman of ill repute, a, pr a prostitute, into this room with him and kind of shut the door and ho in hopes that he would kind of succumb to temptation and that would dissuade him from becoming a Dominican. Kind of a crazy family story. But uh, what happened next was not that he fell to temptation or anything like that, but he actually grabbed a poker out of the fireplace and it was red hot and he swung it, kind of just aiming to knock this person away or um, push them away, and the person fled, understandably so. And when the door was closed, St. Thomas Aquinas took the poker and inscribed a cross onto the door and fell into an ecstasy where two angels came down and girded him with this glowing cord that was a symbol of purity. And from then on out, uh, he never experienced the temptations of the flesh that we are often experience. Um, so he was granted a great grace towards chastity. And that's what the Angelic Warfare Confraternity is actually an apostolate for. Um, it really focuses on the spiritual combat that 
everybody faces when it comes to chastity. All right, so what's chastity? Now, it's not uh, some prudish Victorian-era repression, as it's often presented. It's also not the lack of fun. What chastity is, is it's the virtue that stands contrary to the vice of lust. And that doesn't mean all the way to the other side of lust. That doesn't mean repressing sexual desire or um, the natural inclinations that we have as human beings toward unity and procreation. That's not it at all. Rather, chastity is about, and this is kind of borrowing from the catechism here, but it's about the successful integration of sexuality with the human person. So what that means is I don't view my sexuality and I don't view other people as means to an end. I view them as goods in and of themselves to be used rightly. And by using these these fantastic gifts rightly, then I can truly come to true happiness, true love, and true integration of myself as a child of God. That's what chastity is all about. So the apostolate itself is formed kind of on this basis, where there's a large group of people that are fighting this fight together, that are praying together, and they have a set of prayers, which I'll go into a little bit later, which um, are specifically oriented towards that, so that this community um, that is inside this confraternity can pray for one another and pray for themselves as well for something that is such a challenge in an in an era where there is so much uh, like online pornography, where there's so much um, suggestive stuff in TVs and movies, so many messages that we hear in songs that really degrade and uh, treat human beings as uh, objects for use. So in order to join this confraternity, uh, what I did was there was a Dominican priest who happened to be in the area when I was um, at college. He was he announced that he was going to be doing this enrollment in the Angelic Warfare Confraternity, and I joined there. So there's a ceremony that's maybe half an hour or 45 minutes long where uh, there are some prayers that are said, some reflections that are offered. Um, there are the signs of the confraternity. So there are two signs. One is the cord. So there's kind of modeled after that cord that St. Thomas received, where it's just a simple linen cord that has 15 knots tied in it, and it goes around your waist. Or there is a medallion, which is looks like a regular saint medal, but it has uh, St. Thomas Aquinas being girded by two angels on one side and an image of St. Dominic receiving the rosary from the Blessed Virgin Mary on the other. Those insignias are blessed, they are bestowed upon the people who would like to join and who have done the preparation for it. And you wear one or both of those signs as frequently as you can for the rest of your life. So it's a wonderful thing. And uh, the prayers that go along with it are also offered to these uh, people who've joined the confraternity. And the prayers uh, are simple, but they're very beautiful and very profound. And like I said, it's great knowing that the entire confraternity not only is praying for chastity and is trying to grow in that respect, but is also praying for everyone else as well. That the members are praying these same prayers with us, with you. Uh, they're right there beside you, helping us to grow. So what are these prayers? I'll just go into them really quickly, and then I'll, I'll actually pray them as well. Uh, so the prayers... There's an opening prayer of St. Thomas Aquinas for purity. And then you pray 15 Hail Marys. Each one of those is for a particular power of the soul or particular intention specifically related to purity. And then the final prayer is the prayer to St. Thomas Aquinas for purity in body and mind and heart. So those are prayed every day. I usually pray mine during the morning because I would have a tendency to forget if I left them go. But uh, yeah, I'll just jump into it now and uh, you can kind of see what things are going on there. And uh, let's just jump in. So the opening prayer. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Dear Jesus, I know that every perfect gift, and especially that of chastity, depends on the power of your providence. Without you, a mere creature can do nothing. Therefore, I beg you to defend by your grace and the chastity and purity of my body and soul. And if I have ever imagined or sensed anything that could stain my chastity and purity, blot it out, Supreme Lord of my powers, that I may advance with a pure heart in your love and service, offering myself on the most pure altar of your divinity all the days of my life. Amen. And then we begin the Hail Marys. First Hail Mary is for the intention of our social and cultural climate, attempting to, to, to pray for the media that we take in, the conversations that we have here and there, the things that we see in TV, movies, here in songs, all such as that. Dear Jesus, bless our social and cultural climate. Grant that our society may be purified of everything contrary to chastity, and that we may have the strength to resist the pressures of prevailing distortions of human sexuality. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The second uh, petition is for our relationships. Dear Jesus, bless our relationships. Grant that they will be holy, healthy, and honorable at all times. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The third petition is for modesty in dress and movements. Dear Jesus, bless our efforts at modesty. Grant that how we dress and carry ourselves may veil what should be veiled, and give us the strength to resist evil fashions and the glamour of sin. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The fourth intention is for our five senses. Dear Jesus, bless our five senses. Grant that the things we see, the music and jokes we hear, our food and drink, and the encounters we have through touch may all be pure and holy. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the fifth intention is for our sensuality. Dear Jesus, bless our sensuality. Grant that our impulses may not go after base pleasures, but will be freed by wisdom and inflamed for what is good. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The sixth intention is for our imagination. Dear Jesus, bless our imagination. Grant that we may be preserved from the fantasies and daydreams that defile us, that all impure images may vanish, and that we may be protected from all the assaults of demons. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The seventh intention is for our memory. Dear Jesus, bless our memory. Grant that no dark memories from our past may haunt us, but let your light shine within us to fill us with a healing hope in you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The eighth intention is for our power of estimation. Dear Jesus, bless our power of estimation. Grant that we may quickly sense dangers to chastity, instinctively flee from them, and that we may never turn away from higher and more difficult goods for the sake of sinful self-indulgence. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The ninth intention is for our affectivity. Dear Jesus, bless our affectivity. Grant that we may love chastity and rejoice in it, that all of our emotions may be in harmony with what is right, and that no sadness, discouragement, fear, insecurity, or loneliness may afflict us into sexual sin. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The tenth intention is for our intellect. Dear Jesus, bless our intellect. Grant that it may be purged of all false beliefs and all misunderstandings of human sexuality, and that the good angels may flood our intellects with thoughts that are true, honorable, just, pure, lovely, and gracious. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <clears throat> Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The eleventh intention is for our will. Dear Jesus, bless our will. Grant that it may never be opposed by our sensuality, that it may never be conflicted in the moment, but that it may hold fast to chastity, no matter how difficult it may be. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the twelfth intention is for our conscience. Dear Jesus, please bless our conscience. Grant that it may be swift to judge what is chaste, swifter to execute it, and preserved completely from the suggestions of demons. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The thirteenth intention is for our hearts. Dear Jesus, please bless our hearts. Grant that the place where Christ abides in us with the Father and the Spirit may become the place where we live with the Holy Trinity in friendship. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the fourteenth intention is for the grace of self-surrender. Dear Jesus, please grant us the grace of self-surrender. Grant that we may hand over to God nothing less than our whole lives. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the fifteenth and final intention is for love. Dear Jesus, give us your love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the closing prayer. Chosen Lily of Innocence, pure Saint Thomas, who kept chaste the robe of baptism and became an angel in the flesh after being girded by two angels, I implore you to commend me to Jesus, the spotless Lamb, and to Mary, the Queen of Virgins. Gentle protector of my purity, ask them that I, who wear the holy sign of your victory over the flesh, may also share your purity, and after imitating you on earth, may at last come to be crowned with you among the angels. Amen. So those are the prayers that you typically pray. There's a short form in case you're short on time in a particular day. But every member of the confraternity is asked to pray those prayers every single day, both for themselves and for the other members in the community, to help them grow in chastity and to help them grow in holiness. If you'd like more information about the Angelic Warfare Confraternity, I'll include a link to their website in the description below. It is a great website. It has a couple of articles that come out every now and then, just kind of reflecting on different facets of the spiritual life and different things that are happening in the culture. And I found it to be a really great um, resource for me, the entire confraternity, really, as I grow in holiness as well, and uh, in combating a lot of the quick and easy temptations that there are in today's world. With that, be assured of my prayers for you guys, stay in the state of grace, and God bless, friends. <laughs>